What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel where for today's video, thanks again to the incredible JT Prime 17 I'm going to be breaking down and giving you guys my reaction to some of the Transformers that we can expect to see towards the end of this year going into 2025 and let's just say there are some pretty big drops to come, especially for Studio Series 86. Now before I get started, take everything mentioned here with a massive pinch of salt because as we all know, release schedule wise some figures can be moved up, they can be then moved down and in some super rare cases unfortunately even cancelled although 9 times out of 10 JT Prime 17 is bang on the money so first of all let's check out a long overdue confirmed crossover this is the Transformers collab project renaissance TMNT party wagon yes you guys heard right for the 40th anniversary Transformers and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles for the first time ever are going to be officially crossing over and that is straight up sick I'm honestly surprised it has taken them this long when I was younger Ninja Turtles and Transformers were always the big brands that were either on store shelves or on TV screens So it is awesome to finally hear that these guys are going to be merging and you know what? I haven't been this excited for a crossover since that Back to the Future DeLorean Now I'm thinking they could go one of two ways about this So the first way would be the retool route So maybe they could take the Stranger Things Code Red or even the Rise of the Beast Wheeljack Which come to think of it would make for a pretty awesome Donatello and then just repaint and retool Or they could go down the other route and give us a full blown brand new mold which personally I would love to see and I'm thinking because this is the first time that we are ever seeing a Transformers and Ninja Turtle crossover maybe that's likely the route they will go down I mean that would be epic and if you kind of take a look back at some of the past crossovers nine times out of ten they are mostly brand new molds or if not extensive retools so I'm really excited to see as to what Hasbro is going to cook up here you know are they going to take inspiration from Heat Boys upcoming almost masterpiece level transforming Ninja Turtle where that can transform from the party wagon into kind of an actual turtle not quite sure but that is definitely what I would love to see Hasbro adapt and I hope it doesn't just stop here with the party wagon I'm thinking maybe they could give us a splinter out of rat trap or maybe even a shredder from that concept art movie Megatron so the hype is definitely real I am so excited for this one and honestly guys I would love to get your thoughts down below what are you hoping from this crossover and are you guys thinking that they are going to be giving us a ninja turtle which can transform into the party wagon and not just a party wagon which transforms into into a generic robot like we did see from that most recent Stranger Things Code Red. Now we're going to be changing gears, this time to Transformers Legacy United, and as we've been seeing with previous years, Legacy United will also have an exclusive Amazon capsule subline, which at the moment is titled as Mayhem. Now personally, last year, I loved the kind of IDW themed figures they produced. I thought they were by far some of the highlights that we've so far seen from Amazon exclusives, so I'm hoping that kind of continues this year, but right now these listings, I'm going to be honest guys, they don't make me super pumped. So to begin with, all of these are two packs, and there are in total three different two packs so the first one is of a voyager bludgeon and a deluxe class ruckus gonna be honest none of these characters make me super excited i mean we very recently saw a bludgeon as part of the regular transformers legacy evolution mainline it was a retool of tarn who was a really good figure and i thought in terms of a repaint and retool that also was pretty decent maybe even nicer looking than the original tarn figure so less than a year on what exactly are hasbro going to be giving us here with this two pack are they going to be giving us slightly more pretender shell inspired colors are they going to give us a new head sculpt i guess only time will tell but yeah definitely not holding my breath on that one and then deluxe class ruckus i'm thinking when it comes to this character are they going to give us a brand new mold absolutely not like we've seen with some of those past amazon exclusives this will more than likely be a retool i'm kind of thinking maybe off beachcomber because i believe ruckus transforms into a dune buggy so yeah definitely not too excited for that one unfortunately although the next two pack is of two figures which have been long expected this is for deluxe chop shop and deluxe barrage so two insecticon retools you know we did see ransack released a few years back as part of a buzzworthy bumblebee pack so we knew we were going to be seeing retools of both shrapnel and bombshell going to be interesting to see how far they go retool wise personally i would love if chop shop was a full-blown stag beetle with the proper stag mandibles that would be epic you know if they basically give us a straight up reissue of shrapnel just with a redeco and a brand new robot head sculpt honestly not going to be super pumped for that one and then finally the third and final two 
impact, yet again, is very similar to Bludgeon and Ruckus in the sense that I'm kind of thinking it's not really needed. So this is going to be comprised of a Deluxe Class Knockout and a Deluxe Class Windsweeper. So first of all, again, we very recently saw a Knockout as part of Transformers Legacy. Why are we seeing a new one so soon? And how exactly are they going to make this one different in comparison to the Prime Universe one? Are they going to give it a new head sculpt? Is it going to be based on an entirely different character mold? Again, I guess only time will tell. And then when it comes to Windsweeper, it will be kind of cool to see what they do with that character. I imagine they're going to retool and repaint Needle Nose. And I also wonder if he will come with some brand new Target Masters. That's going to be pretty interesting to see. But those are pretty much all of the exclusives out of the way because now we're going to jump into the proper mainline for Transformers Legacy United. And guess what, guys? Hasbro are throwing in a surprise wave 5. So if you were to check out Legacy Evolution and even the original Legacy wave, they all kind of round things off with either a wave 3 or a wave 4. So kind of awesome that we are seeing wave 5 and it's making me think maybe Hasbro have plans to expand Legacy into maybe a fourth year. You know, this originally was only intended to be a trilogy, but why does it need to be a trilogy? I think Legacy right now is working just fine. So they should really and truly just expand it, keep the same name like we're seeing with Transformers Studio Series. But anyway, let's check out some of the figures that will be released as part of this Wave 5. And thankfully, they include some characters that originally were dropped from Wave 2 of Legacy United. So up first, Core Class Beast Wars Dinobot. This guy originally was meant to come out as part of Wave 2, but now we know why he has been moved up to Wave 5 and it's pretty much to bulk this wave out. So going to be really awesome to see how they approach that design in the core scale. I know we very recently saw a reveal for Cheetor, and I'm going to be honest, guys, I think he looks pretty impressive, especially for that scale class. You know, right now, Hasbro have massively upped their game when it comes to Legacy United core class figures. So I am super excited for Dinobot, and he opens up an entire Pandora's box of other Beast Wars characters that we can also see in this scale class. Moving up now to Deluxes, yet again, it's another kind of dropped character from Wave 2, that being G1 Sure Shot, so at least he hasn't been completely cancelled. Kind of interested to see exactly what they do with this character. Is this going to be a repaint slash retool of Point Blank that we saw as part of Legacy? I guess only time will tell. Then there will be a deluxe G2 Universe breakdown, so kind of a companion piece to the G2 repaint of Dragstrip that was released, I believe, as part of Wave 2 for the Velocitron subline, so at least for those who are into these G2 Stunticon repaints, this subline appears to be continuing. Then we move up to a really interesting repaint. This will be Deluxe Armada Wheeljack, so I imagine a repaint of Shattered Glass Sideswipe, who was recently released alongside Rodimus. It's going to be wicked to finally see that mold repainted into the character it was originally intended for. I am wondering, are they also going to throw in the Minicon with this? I'm really hoping they do, especially as that mold clearly exists. And as it goes for the rest of the characters in this wave, to be honest, they are more or less just repaints and repacks. So next up is a Deluxe Class Cosmos. So finally, a proper mainline reissue of that incredibly elusive to find Velocitron exclusive. Here in the UK, this guy surprisingly was pretty readily available, but I know in the States was near enough impossible to track down. So it's wicked that Hasbro appeared to be listening to the fans. They're reissuing some of the more elusive Transformers and that continues with the next one, which is Voyager Ramjet. So we're finally seeing the second part of that original Earthrise 2-pack kind of split up because we recently saw Dirge as part of Legacy Evolution. So that's fantastic. I guess now we just have to wait for a reissue of Thrust and the original three core cone heads will be way easier to track down. Then just above him, there will be a reissue of Voyager Class Tarn, so a very recent figure, but I know that one too literally flew off the shelves, even here for the UK. And then we jump to Leader Class, which is of a G1 Overcharge, who I imagine will be a repaint of Blitzwing. To be honest, I did quite like Blitzwing, so it'll be interesting to see what they do paint-wise to that mould, and to be honest, guys, I will more than likely pick it up, because I did think Blitzwing was a pretty awesome triple changer. And then finally, when it comes to this Wave 5, there will be a second Leader Class, although it is a straight-up reissue of an already pre-existing figure, and that is of the Victory Universe Galaxy Shuttle. Now again, here in the UK, this guy was literally hogging the shelves. For some strange reason, we got so much stock of him to the point where he was even being sold off cheap. But I know in the States, much like Cosmos, he was pretty much cancelled. He was impossible to track down. So a more than welcome reissue, I know, for many other places with the exception of the UK. So that's pretty awesome. And that pretty much wraps things up completely when it comes to Legacy United Wave 5. Will there be a Wave 6? I guess only time will tell. Or much like we saw between what for Cybertron and Legacy, are Hasbro going to again completely reboot the line into something different for another trilogy? 
And finally, I've saved what I believe to be the biggest and the best news for last. These are some Studio Series 86 listings which confirm a big character, and that is that we are finally going to be seeing a Studio Series 86 Decepticon Megatron. I would have waited an eternity for this listing, but honestly, this raises more questions than it does answer, because what exactly is this G1 Megatron going to transform into? You know, are we finally going to see a proper mass release G1 Megatron which can transform into his original G1 pistol i guess only time will tell although i believe a few years back a fan actually asked the design team what megatron would transform into if he was so happened to be released as a studio series figure and i believe the designer at the time said more than likely a tank so maybe they are going to take some creative inspiration when it does come to the alt mode but honestly as long as they nail that robot mode to go alongside the upcoming commander class optimus prime i'm going to be more than happy because it has been quite some time since we've seen a brand new full-blown g1 megatron so that is definitely hype and and then the next leader class again raises way more questions than it does answer. This is a listing for a Studio Series 86 Galvatron. Now we very recently saw a leader Galvatron. He was a part of the Transformers War for Cybertron line. He was then repacked and slightly repainted for the first wave of Transformers Legacy. So what exactly is this SS86 Galvatron going to be? If I had to bet a straight up reissue of that original Kingdom Galvatron just in animated accurate colours. You know the original Kingdom version was a super dark purple. So I'm thinking thinking are they going to go with a slightly more bluish tone to match how he did appear in that original 86 movie i guess only time will tell but yeah definitely nowhere near as excited for galvatron as i am with megatron and because we are seeing galvatron i guess it pretty much confirms that we are also going to be seeing a repaint of cyclonus because he too wasn't too accurate color wise to what we did see in that original 86 movie and then one thing i just want to touch base on before i wrap this video up is studio series 86 swoop in the past video that i made where i kind of broke down some of the studio series listings for 2025 there were so many comments asking where swoop is and the reason why he wasn't a part of the 2025 listings is because he is going to be released this year at the moment he's scheduled to be the leader class for the second studio series wave which right now is already making the rounds online we know what shockwave is going to look like we know what the gamer edition sideswipe is going to look like and we also know about the concept art sunstreaker so it really is now just a matter of time of when swoop will be revealed and i'm thinking it's going to be pretty soon so he is coming guys and he is coming way soon than I imagine some of you expected. So those are pretty much all of the listings that I wanted to discuss for today's video. They wrap up pretty much everything which is left when it comes to the main line of Legacy United. They give us a pretty good indication of the characters that we can expect from the Amazon exclusive subline which is to be released later this year. We also finally have the Ninja Turtle and Transformers crossover confirmed which is epic. And then finally some pretty big Studio Series 86 listings. So I hope you guys enjoyed this breakdown. I would love to know down below out of everything discussed today what are you guys most excited for? I want to thank you all so much for watching and until my next video, transform and roll out!